What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Race. The sequel of Downton Abbey is going to be released in less than a year, so while the sequel is under development, we might as well see all the crazy rules the cast must follow. Just a little preview, one of these rules involved wearing dirty and very expensive costumes. Enjoy the video, guys! Multi-film contracts Most films nowadays are almost never one-and-done stories. As long as the movie is successful and makes plenty of bucks, you can bet it will be getting as many sequels as the studio wants. And while these films often lack quality, this is certainly not the case with Downton Abbey. The series along with the film were both successful plot-wise. But since Downton Abbey is creating a sequel, there's one rule all actors that play important characters must follow. Since the lead actors became the face of the franchise, they are required to sign multi-film contracts that will guarantee they will be back for the second and sometimes even third part of the film. And because the entire cast of Downton Abbey will appear in the sequel, this rule seems to be applied. However, if the actors sign such a contract and don't come to reprise their famous roles, they will definitely face some bad consequences in court. You must have enough money. Maybe. But you know how it is. So yes, it seems like the cast of Downton Abbey was obligated to come back for the sequel. Now, here is a more interesting rule that will definitely surprise you. Wear uncomfortable, dirty suits. Downton Abbey happens in a different reality than ours, and this includes the different clothes that the characters in the film wear. Hugh Jackman was pretty lucky since he got through all of these X-Men movies without having to wear the yellow and black Wolverine Spanx from the comics. But Downton Abbey actors were not that lucky. Throughout Downton Abbey's six-season run and the entire film, the show's extravagant costumes became one of the best things about Downton Abbey. The show especially featured very beautiful times when it comes to fashion. From Edwardian glory to the beauty of the 1920s, the outfits worn by the Crawley sisters, Lady Mary, Edith, and Sybil, were some of the most beautiful dresses ever featured on television. That's certainly a fact that we can all agree about. Costume designer Anna Robbins is mostly responsible for the beautiful dresses featured in the show, and she joined the show in Series 5 as the Jazz Age temporarily made its appearance at the Abbey. Clothes were affected dramatically by what was going on in the war. Um, women's clothing starts to change, it already had, but it's… Robbins was in fact two times nominated for an Emmy, and because of the great job she did with season 5 of the show, she also returned to style the cast for Downton Abbey movie. According to her, working on the costumes for Downton Abbey the film was one of the most challenging things she ever did. Now, actors must wear these costumes, and when you think about it, there's nothing wrong with wearing such beautiful gowns. But you're wrong, there is. In order to keep the show's authenticity, the producers had a no-wash policy policy meeting the obvious. Some of the costumes have never been washed. Ever! We do stink, as they don't wash our costumes, Sophie McShara, who played Daisy, told the Daily Mail. They have these weird patches which are sewn into the armpits, which they wash separately, she added. But that's not all. The stars of the acclaimed film also had to completely change body shape. The most fashionable silhouette of the 20s was that of the super gaming flapper girl. To fully recreate that look, the upstairs actresses all wore special underwear. Robbins told in an interview with Insider, she also explained that there was some kind of boyish straight up and down silhouette for the women, so they'd have flattening underwear that gives you the shape you need for the dresses. In order to look good in the dresses, some of the actresses had to completely change their body shape. This is not really surprising, to be honest since a lot of actors do it with the purpose for their performance to be more reliable, but even though a lot of the actors do it, it again deserves some appreciation. Our first challenge with Geraldine James was to completely change her body shape, Robbins explained. Now, we're curious to know which dress from Downton Abbey fascinated you the most? Let us know down in the comments. And before we continue with even crazier rules, make sure you smack that like button if you haven't done it already. Stick to the studio's vision. Most directors are not really interested in the actor's ideas. This is mostly because of the way they want to present their own idea. There are, of course, some cases in which the actors are given more creative freedom, but those cases are rare. When it comes to Downton Abbey, the show and the film only focused on already written scripts without changing too much. And given the show's attention to detail and authenticity, it's probably unsurprising that everything was very strict. According to the world of Downton Abbey, each episode episode of the show cost about £1 million, or about $1.5 million to produce, so there's not so much space left for risks. 
not leaking spoilers. A continuation of Downton Abbey is set to be released in 2022. Everything regarding the plot of the sequel is being kept secret, and while actors from the sequel often do interviews, they can never talk about the plot with a reason, of course. After a successful six-season series and a 2019 movie, the drama is set to return to the big screen next year, and the film will again use the talents of creator Julian Fellows and will feature the Crawleys and their servants with some new faces. Officially named Downton Abbey A New Era, the very anticipated sequel really makes it difficult for us to guess the plot. The official plot details must be under wraps, and that's one of the most important rules all actors must follow. Now get your warranty and keep watching to find out more crazy rules the cast of Downton Abbey must follow. Must Travel Downton Abbey A new era actually got some leaks about the plot that were confirmed at the Las Vegas CinemaCon. An exclusive clip from the film was also revealed during the event and in the clip, the aristocrat Crawley family is preparing for a trip overseas. Jim Carter's Mr. Carson says the following in the footage, the British are coming. Thank God, otherwise I'd be gardening, you know, I, I, people don't tune, tune into a film to see Carson picking some sort of carrots out of the ground, do they? In keeping with Downton's already familiar style, we can also expect a lot of drama in the sequel. However, the clip that was shared only proves that the sequel will follow a plot in which the characters will travel to Europe. The returning cast that had to travel for sequel includes Dame Maggie Smith, Hugh Bonneville, Jim Carter, Laura Carmichael, Michelle Dockery, and Elizabeth McGovern. There are also some new additions that we're really excited to see, and those are Dominic West, Hugh Dancy, Laura Haddock and Natalie Bay. The first Downton film followed the Crawley family preparing to receive a visit from King George V and Queen Mary. The King and Queen are coming to Downton. What? Because of the film's huge success, the directors decided to go on with the sequel. Who knows, maybe Downton Abbey 3 will even go under development. As we previously said, Downton Abbey creator Julian Fellows has returned to write the screenplay for the sequel, and because of that, the sequel lives on high expectations. Now everyone has their favorite Downton character. Who's yours? Let us know in the comment section below. Retake scenes A lot of actors struggle with the fact that directors want the scene to look perfect. An actor cannot refuse to make the scene again, and according to Alan Leach, his first day on set with Michelle and Hugh Bommenville, Lord Grantham, during a breakfast scene, he was delighted as they did an amazing breakfast on site. However, he and Hugh always suffered because the cast of Downton Abbey actually ate breakfast, and they always did 28 takes, according to the actor. Which of these rules is the craziest according to you? Let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching.